if you were living in the area of the Downs in the Second World War, it would be the sounds of that training that you're most likely to, to have heard. The, the training area itself would have been closed completely to the public. Few hamlets and villages inside the training area were forcibly cleared under the Emergency Powers Act, and those residents were moved out and off the South Downs. People were not allowed to go into the training area. The roads through the training area were closed. Of course, particularly children, they did. You know, you want to see what's going on. But those were effectively closed areas for the greater part of most of the year. It's the sounds of the shelling, the mortars, the, the machine guns, the rifles, the, the aircraft carrying out bombing attacks. That's what they would have heard. They wouldn't have necessarily been able to see uh, a large part of it. But certainly they would have been able to hear it and perhaps smell it as the core light and, and smell of explosions all firing drifts down on the wind possibly. Land Shapers, Voices from the South Downs Landscape, an Ordemus production for the South Downs Joint Committee, supported by Hampshire County Council and Natural England.